can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today, we're actually going to be working on the 435, not the M3. I know you guys saw a lot of M3 content, and uh, you know, that's great and all, but we got to show some love to the uh, the 435. So today, I'm talking to Brian, and we're going to try to get the boot mode 3 tune. That's going to be pretty sick. So basically, you guys saw I did all these bolt-ons, and I'm going to put all these bolt-ons to good use, and we'll see. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to expect. I've never had a tune before. I've always had bolt-ons, but never had a tune because I cared more about the sound than the speed. Um, if you know what I mean. Anywho, so I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to Brian and uh, get this laptop set up and hopefully just get, I'm gonna just jump right into this video. I have the keys cable hooked up to my car, have it hooked up to the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and just log in. I'm gonna go ahead and download Boot Mode 3 and show you guys how you do it real quick. So I'm on Boot Mode 3's website. You have to go to bootmode3.net and I just pretty much logged in with my, uh, my Facebook because that's just so much easier. Since I'm using a Windows, I'm gonna go ahead and download Windows OED Agent. Wait for that to download real quick. I went ahead and clicked on the download. By the way, guys, check out this wallpaper. This is so sick. What the hell? I found this and I was like, damn. Uh, yes. All right, guys, now that it's installed and I got the file on my screen, uh, pretty much right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on boot mode three. All right, so it's doing some funny business. We're just gonna wait on it to completely install. Yeah, once we got the tune installed onto the computer, we're just gonna leave this open. Go down here to Google. And then go up here and click on vehicle. Oh, that's where we're at. And then we'll click on that. And then activation key. We need to insert the activation key. So this is what happens when you buy it from keys. You guys get an activation key. Once you get that from the email, just go ahead and paste it right there. All right, guys, I put in the code. It's saying it's successful. So I just registered the car. Look at that. Okay, cool, cool. And then guys, once this comes up, just click on those three lines and this will come up. And we're looking for OTS maps. This guy right here. Go ahead and click on that. All right guys, so these are apparently all the tunes. Stage zero, stage one, stage one, 93 octane. This is so sick. I've never tuned a car before. And it even tells you like boost and load control. This is sick, this is sick. Let me figure out what we need to do next. I don't know which ones, considering the mods I have, which ones we can do. So uh, let me look into a little bit more. All right, so we're just gonna stick with stage one, 91 octane. It says stock hardware, no modifications required. That's dope. Oh, I can actually click on each one. Let's see what it takes for stage two octane. 91 octane. You need a front mount intercooler and high flow downpipe. Oh, we need downpipe, boys. We need it. So before we get the tune, we need to make sure that the fan is off, we have the lights off, and we need to put on the seatbelt. I know, it's kind of weird. All right, I guess now, get tuned. I got my seatbelt on. Are you sure you want to acquire stage one octane maps? Yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm so down. Uh, octane acquired successful. You can now find it under the uh, my map screen and proceed to flash. So that was quick. I think we're just gonna go ahead and click OK, proceed. Okay, so now find it under the maps screen and proceed to flash. So now we're gonna go ahead and click stage one octane. And then there's a flash button down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click flash. All right, press here to flash now. That seems pretty easy. <laughs> and then battery charge is highly recommended. Turn on head, turn off headlights. Put on the driver, uh, yeah, put on the, the, the driver's seatbelt. And do not open and close door while flashing. All right, guys, moment of truth, flash. Remember, do not mess with this door. When it's, if it's open, leave it open. And make sure your battery is good. If you guys don't have a trickle charger or anything like that, make sure your battery is good. If your battery is bad, get a trickle charger. <laughs> I'll let you guys know when this thing finishes. I'll, I'll wait for you guys so you guys don't have to go through this it's finished we'll go ahead and click okay i think i think now we're good to go to be honest by the way guys i got some paint on my hands so don't mind that don't mind that so now i'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the car for a little bit i'm gonna give it like 10 seconds and then turn it back on it's been about 30 seconds let's go ahead and start it up okay That's like, how we do <laughs> As soon as you do, as soon as you did those burnouts, those guys came out over there. No, they were no, they were. They don't want to tell me. To. Oh, nice. all right, sick. <laughs> Dude, it's quick. Yeah. You want to feel it? Do another launch. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> the, ball, the, the intake sounds a lot louder now too. It does. It's crazy. Care. Should I wing it? Yeah. Swing it. Yep. Oh, who cares? The rip's already destroyed. <laughs> I 
thing sexy. Whose is it? Who's? That thing. Oh, yeah, that's uh, John's, the John? guy behind the camera. Oh, shit. <laughs> Should I do it? <laughs> I'm bumping from fitted racing. Fitted racing. Woo! All right. Damn. Not as clean as this, though. We need more mods. This is that I need to go uh, stage two, I need down pipes. So, I think I have to get down pipes. That's next. I have to send it. All right, well, guys, I'm going to have to call Brian. The car literally feels like it's trying to kill me. The car is so fast, dude. It's only stage one. Oh, my God. I feel like a two-year-old when I say so fast. <laughs> All right, guys, it is the next day. So I'm here at the shop just waiting on Jonathan. He's gonna get here around like 2 p.m.-ish. So I figured I might as well show you guys something that I've been kind of keeping a secret for a very long time. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to get a valve tronic. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's basically an exhaust that functions with the sport options on the F chassis. So the F chassis has like a comfort, has like an eco mode, a sport, and even a sport plus. So there's a whole bunch of options and basically when you put it in eco mode I feel like it doesn't even use the turbos and you put it in comfort it doesn't go on higher RPMs when you put it in sport it goes all out and I think the exhaust flap open all F chassis come with like a flat mechanism that open and closes but the muffler is so suppressing a lot of the sound so I went ahead and reached out to Valvetronic and we got ourselves a Valvetronic exhaust which is gonna basically make it sound like either a muffler delete or a completely stock car whenever I like just by a click of a button which is super cool I'm wondering if it's a direct bolt on. If it's direct bolt on, we might have to do it soon. All right, guys, see so here it is. This is the Valvetronic exhaust from Valvetronic. Man, the cushioning's really good. And I'm assuming you have to piece this exhaust together because it doesn't look like it's 100%. Ooh, we got some tips. Should we see what these are? Okay, well, this is already looking 10 times better than a stock tip it says Valvetronic on it and I'm pretty sure these outer things are in forged carbon let's go ahead and unwrap this thing real quick <laughs> you guys know how much I love carbon this looks so good these are the tips I came with dual tips and these are direct like basically bolt-on ones no welding necessary this whole kit apparently I think is just a direct bolt-on let me go ahead and just take it apart and see what I get in the box real quick so I can let you guys know All right, guys, just to show y'all what the kit actually comes with. So you guys get the whole exhaust. So basically how it works, on a, stack, on a stock F30, it has already basically one of these flaps, but it basically either opens up the valves a little bit and closes the valves a little bit, and you can hear kind of girth and a cold start and whatnot, but it really doesn't sound like much of a difference, to be honest. With this, it basically either closes the flap and it's completely suppressed and it goes through the muffler or if you open up the flap it will come like a straight pipe which is really which is what we really want but what, what's nice about having the muffler here as well is that if you see a cop your car can still sound quiet and if they ask you to rev it your car will still sound quiet so living in california this is kind of a kind of an important thing to have because i do want to go mid pipes and down pipes so having at least an option to kind of suppress the sound is going to be a whole lot better so yeah basically it comes with the exhaust and it comes with the extended sensor because this is located over here on this side on the stock F30s and the wire is only yay big. So this allows you to basically grab the stock wire and connect it to this one right here. And I'll show you guys the full video on that when the time comes. And it also comes with this guy. So this is what I was wondering if it came with or not. And this, you basically slide it right here onto the stock muffler, on, I mean onto the stock exhaust too and just clamp it down. So you don't even need to go to the weld shop. You can do this in your garage, which is super dope. You, this requires no welding whatsoever. The tips are also a direct bolt-on and you can just tie it down right here. So no welding required. This is what I like because I have absolutely, like I have a little bit of welding experience. I don't have much at all. So this kit is basically easy for me to install, which is also be easy for you guys to install. So for those of you guys who are wondering if I'm gonna get an exhaust that you guys have, but I basically have just the muffle. I'm going for a mid pipe as well. And I'm probably gonna end up going with down pipes after seeing that I can actually go stage two with just some down pipes. So you might have to get a down pipe at all. So basically it'll be a full straight pipe, but have an option to actually suppress the sound when I want to, which is gonna be a huge help. So if you guys are excited to see the exhaust video make sure to smash the like button if you get this video to 1500 likes i'll get this video out within a couple days of this video being uploaded so make sure you smash the like button 1500 likes and i'll go ahead and install this right now onto the 435 and you, i'm just gonna be waiting on jonathan and uh, hopefully letting him take out my car for a spin and just taking him out and see if he sees a difference in my car we want stage two we want stage two but stage one is still a lot faster all right guys so this is the next day like i said jonathan is finally back <laughs> So he's here, I'm gonna go ahead and take our for a test spin and see if he can see a difference by either any sounds or 
or even, I don't know, I mean, let's see if there's any power difference in his perspective. I know in my perspective there is, but I know for the passenger as well, you should feel a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then also I'm gonna let him drive it. So, oh, I've never, I've actually never he's never even driven my car, and this has not stage one tune on it. Stage one, this is the first so, time driving it. So, this is going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm going to record two. And he's, <laughs> so, it's going to be on both channels, both perspectives. So All right, so, Jaws is going to go ahead and take the wheel. Actually, he's never even driven my car before. Never even driven your car. Yeah, too. and now it's stage one. So, oh, bro. I'm going to have to go stage two, mainly because, like, all I need is downpipe, so I have everything else. So, I have to go stage two. Dude, um, Jesus, okay. yeah. I've never even driven this car. He's never driven this car, and he's going to take it out with the brand new Ooh. steering wheel. You got pad. Look at these paddles, guys. They're Bro, so the paddles are so sick. <laughs> and it's on Sport Plus oh, right now. I'm make sure. <laughs> nah, N54 is way better. <laughs> oh, man. This, this car is up in Jackson. Oh, hold on. I don't know how this works. We gotta air up. Gotta air up. All the way. All right, go for it. Go to complete angle, though. Should I go that way? Yeah. Watch, you know, do, go the same way I went. Right. Uh, I don't know how low this car is. All right, all right, and we're the good. the paddles are... Downshift, upshift. <laughs> Dude, you feel it in the passenger seat. Dude, <laughs> I think this is the best car oh I'm going easily. God. Hands down. Is this too. No, you can go. I can go. go? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Dude, it shifts so fast. You have a, is it like a transmission tune? Or I think it's stock. It's, it's, not even, it's not even flashed yet. Did you, whenever like you shift the, like the, the turbo, yes. the turbo, I don't know, it's like a turbo set, I don't know what it is, it's kind of weird. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I'm scared. This is like the first time I've driven this car, and then on top of it, it's already like stage one, and this is definitely hands down the fastest car I've driven. For real? Yes, dude. Damn! I haven't driven any fast cars. <laughs> Right? And it's on bags too, which is kind of crazy. This thing is so smooth. This tune requires no bolt-ons. Like, I'm gonna have this tune linked down below, guys. If you guys want this tune, check it out. Yeah. You drive this every day? It's my daily. Oh my god. God bless, I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, bag. The bag life is something else, man. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's wow, it. that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, when are you gonna get that chassis? I don't know. Should I sell my car? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of convincing him to sell his car. So if you guys are wondering if he's gonna sell his car, I'm kind of convincing like, him to. I want to because it's like the N54 problems are just a lot, but I don't know what to do. That's the thing. Like, I'm gonna get a BMW regardless, but what should I do? I don't know. Guys. What? Is it the exhaust? Yeah. <laughs> so good. Dude, I need the voucher. I need to put it on right now. Like, it is, but like, dude, I need the back truck. Go back there. I need to go back. I don't know what it's doing right now. Oh, it's a Sport Plus. Oh, it's a Sport? Oh. Exhaust now, dude. dude let's do the exhaust right now. Should we like, do it? Let's do Should it. we just send let's, it? Let's send it. Let's, let's send it. Let's, let's send it. Let's do it. So, if you guys want to see the exhaust video, make sure you smash the like button. 1500 likes, guys, and we'll get the exhaust video out into the next video. If not, we'll go out to an M3 video, mainly because I'm already working on some M3 stuff right now. But I delay the M3 content and push out the exhaust for DPS and get this video to 1500 likes. You think we should Ooh. do it? Yes, 1500. We can do it, boys. <laughs> we can do it. I want to hear the exhaust. Let's do it. Yeah, I really want to hear it too. So, if you guys want to see the exhaust, maybe we should smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.